Hi, my name's Matt Highway, and today we're going to talk about turning these bamboo into one of these. A bamboo floating island, and in this case, a native ecosystem. So it's easy as we can do this in a couple of hours with minimal experience and minimal cost. So let's go. Now once you've laid out the bamboo, you really want to just check for a couple of things, make sure it's sitting nice and flat and it's going to be stable once we put it in the water. Now what I would recommend here is just have a look at some of these bigger pieces of bamboo, putting those towards the outside to increase that stability once it goes into a floating wetland. Uh, these, you'll see uh, bamboo is a natural product, a lot of them are bent, uh, they'll be odd shapes and sizes. That's actually okay, and you'll see later on that that won't matter so much. So just give yourself an even spacing. Uh, the smaller the bamboo is, the tighter the spacing is. This is quite nice and big, sort of 8 to 10 centimetre range. Uh, most bamboo you'll find will be much smaller than that. So you might have to jam them in. In this case, I can space it out nice and wide to make the most of the bamboo and allow some gaps in there for the roots to penetrate through into the water. So here we are with our bamboo piece we're going to use to split and make slats. Now one of the easiest ways to do this splitting is with a machete which is what I'm going to demonstrate now but you can use saws, circular saws, uh, even a hatchet, whatever's safest for you at the time please focus on that. Super safe, obviously these uh, can be dangerous. Now I just want to secure this piece of wood with my knee straight through it like that and if you can see that uh, that is the split and we can work our machete down and slowly split it out and we can create see how that's already created a smaller one create lots of pieces this size and we can use that to lash across our raft okay So one of the options, and I'm just using builder's string at the moment so we can see it, uh, is to lash our bamboo together. Now normally in a raft situation you would jam all of these bamboo poles together um, to get a really stable platform. For us, because we want plant roots to penetrate through these gaps, uh, we have the spacing slightly differently, we have it quite wide. Uh, it also sort of saves materials. So uh, very simple lashing is to come underneath Come underneath one of these, go across, back under, pulling it tight, keeping it lashed to the bamboo of course, going under again and across, back over, and then one more time underneath, we'll take a shortcut, and back over again, so I'm keeping that tight so we don't have slack in the string. It's very difficult to build a string, but there we go. And then we're ready for the next one. So keeping those tight, obviously, as we go. And yeah, simple lashing uh, using sustainable uh, materials, sustainable ropes uh, will actually help with this whole biodegradable nature. Uh, but we're gonna show a different technique now that I'm gonna use to implement this. Now, because I'm lazy, we're going to fix the lashings across our raft there with these screws. So uh, these are galvanized screws. They have a self-tapping in there. So these are roofing screws. You can see the groove cut into the screw there to cut its way into the roof normally. But they work really well for this sort of thing. So they'll just cut our way through the bamboo and into the raft and stitch it all together and it'll be super, super quick. So pretty straightforward, I just use a drill um, and straight through either the bamboo, or in this case, we're going to use a Quela leftover decking from Quela. So a tropical hardwood, untreated, and perfect for our purposes. So it'll either go through the hardwood, straight into the bamboo, 
no problem. Or straight through bamboo and some more bamboo. Just like that. And so as we go, we'll just work our way through stitching this together and making it into a raft. So now we've finished our raft platform. So that's a fair chunk of the construction out of the way, pretty easy, eh? And what we need to do now is just lift the edges of the platform so we're creating some habitat there to put soil and plants and get our, our floating wetland underway. But as you can see, ugh, these are pretty heavy now. So ideally these are built right by your water body from here on in. Uh, preferably right from the start. Anyway, we're going to cut some lengths to go around the outside and lift the platform up a little bit to create habitat. So one that size, this one will go Put some go on top, so forth. So we're raising this up so much, and then here will be our hessian, our soil, and our plants, and allow the plant roots to go through and into the water column. So what we've done is just drilled some holes through here. What that will enable us to do is drill a screw and into either the other bamboo or these wooden platform pieces. So we'll just go ahead and do that now. Here we go, some wonderful hollow pieces of bamboo. Now these are just going to get attached to the sides here, probably around one third and two thirds down. This helps to add to the stability and that's where our stakes will go through there. So let's do that now. With that final touch uh, of the arms going on here, that's it. That's all we can really do on land. The next bit is to send it into the water, get it floating a little bit, take a bit of the weight, uh, put in our jute, our hessian sacking, fill it with soil, plant, stake it in for its final resting place. So next time you see me, we'll be in the water. See ya. So here we are ready to launch our raft. We uh, have floated it because we're gonna put heavy material on, like in this case, bags of compost. You might wanna use soil. Uh, and we're going to use <laughs> some jute uh, here or hessian, whichever, or coconut fiber to line the raft so that the soil doesn't fall through when I pollute the lake. Um, and I'd just like to introduce my friend, Liz, who's been running this project. And we're about to start with today, Liz. So here, we're here today at the Lakeside Subdivision where we've been working on this little pond for the last year with students from Crowford College. And um, the students have al already know all about the water quality in the pond and have been working with the floating wetlands that Matt's been building for us with the idea of ensuring that we can reduce pollution and particularly bacterial pollution. Wonderful, thank you Liz. And we're going to, now we'll just get away, we'll just run the camera in fast speed. We're going to show you how to do this 
and then we'll put them in the lake to rest. Thanks. So Matt's about to start planting up the wetland. He's allowing me not to get into the water, which is great. The reason, one of the reasons why we're putting manuka into the wetland is because the manuka roots are known to um, be capable of killing off certain bacteria in the soil. And part of the experiment this year was to see if we could grow manuka in wet conditions and still have it kill off the bacteria. So we're after, hopefully, removing um, e. coli from this water and the rest of the plants will remove the nitrogen and phosphorus. Of course the manacle will do that too. Thanks Liz. Uh, as we discussed before, real common wetland species like this one, Carex sector, uh, which is a sedge, uh, will be perfect for a floating wetland. Uh, and as you can see already, look at the root mass that they'll, they're dropping down. So this will drop at least a metre, maybe a metre and a half of really solid roots right through the water column and that's what we want for cleaning up the water. Now all we've done is cut some slots um, and then we'll just put our plants through into those slots into the compost material and we're pretty much done. So the main reason we've used waratahs in this case is to hold the raft in position so it won't twist or turn as we get wave action against the shore. But what it does do is enables the raft to go up and down as the lake level rises and falls. So really now all we need to do is sit back and wait, watch the plants grow and uh, enjoy the fruits of our labour. Um.